So what we're doing here is we're going to set up a Fluke 744 documented calibrator to act to simulate an RTD. Our transmitter is a Rosemount 3144 transmitter, and it's set up currently right now to take in a three-wire RTD signal. Normally our RTD is right here. You can see the three wires, two white and one red. In this case, what we're doing is we're using the Fluke to simulate the resistance that an RTD would normally generate. So what we have to do is connect those three wires to the Fluke. Now the Fluke itself is nothing more than a resistor, a precision calibrated resistor that we can change the value of. <laughs> it used to be precise. We can change the value of simply by typing in new numbers. That resistance will show up between these two terminals. We've got two terminals here and three on the transmitter that we need to connect to. So the way this works is we use three conductors, in this case a two-wire cable and a third jumper, to go from the transmitter into the fluke. If all we were doing was a two-wire connection, we'd simply use this cable like that. The third wire has to go up here attached to one of these, and it needs to be the, uh, the equivalent wire down here looking at the connection. Oh, there we go right here. Setting up for a three wire, it's terminals one, two, and three, with terminals two and three being common. So looking down here, we have black, red, and our jumper. So the jumper needs to go on the same terminal up there that our red wire does. So looking at that, we can see on our jumper here, there's our ground, that's where the black wire goes, that's where the red one goes, and there's our third wire attaching common to the red, so it should be fine. Next thing to do is set up the Fluke 744 to be a source of resistance to simulate an RTD. So first we hit the measure source button until source appears on the screen. Then what we do is we tell it what to source. Right now I've got a variety of options. I want to go for RTD, so I hit the TC RTD button. Do you want to do a, a thermocouple or an RTD? Well, I want to do RTD. I want to select platinum 100 ohm with a 385 alpha coefficient and it says enter value and so let's go 50 degrees bearing in mind this is 50 degrees Celsius notice it says here two wire RTD platinum 385 we can disregard the two wire part even though our transmitter down here is configured for three wire the fluke doesn't know that and doesn't need to know it because in the source configuration for RTD all it is doing is providing a source of resistance between two terminals. That's all it knows, that's all it cares. The three-wire connection is something we have done from the fluke going to the transmitter. So the fluke does not have to be aware we're doing a three-wire calibration. What we want to do now is switch that to degrees Fahrenheit. So what I do is I go into the setup menu, and here I've got several pages of parameters I can set up. The degrees Fahrenheit unit is not on this page, so I'll go to the next page. I'll go to the next page, pressure units, temperature units right there, and I want to go to degrees Fahrenheit. Notice we can select Celsius, Fahrenheit, Rankin, or Kelvin. Hit enter, and now it's in degrees Fahrenheit. I hit done, and now our 50 degrees Celsius we typed in earlier is actually 122 degrees Fahrenheit. What's your calibrated range here? 20 to 120, okay. And we are connected on our fuel communicator, or not right now? No. Okay, well, that's all right. So 20 to 120, halfway in that range would be, what, 70 degrees? Mm -hmm. So I'll set this to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, and now we should be inputting a signal to the transmitter to drive it to 12 milliamps.